In this lesson, we will look at how you can create a bucket that is encrypted and how you can enable server side encryption to a bucket in S3. So for that, I will go to the create bucket option and over here, I will create a bucket with the name encrypted bucket dash skill curve one. And then scrolling down, you will see the option for the default encryption. So over here, I will enable this option and for the encryptions, you have two options. Amazon S3 managed keys. So this is the server side encryption for S3 managed by S3 itself. And then you have the AWS key management service keys. We will go with the Amazon S3 managed keys option and create this bucket. So our bucket is now created and let me go into the bucket. Upload a file over here and now if I go to this file, you can see over here that the server side encryption for this file is enabled. All right. So this is how easy it is to enable encryption for your bucket. The next important thing is how you can manage some bucket policies in order to ensure that each time you upload a file and it is encrypted. So for that, we will go to the bucket and inside the permissions, I will go to the bucket policy, click on edit. So now we will go to the policy generator. To generate a policy, select the S3 bucket policy over here. And what we want to do is we want to deny any upload that is being done inside of a bucket for a particular file that is not encrypted. So let's see how you can do that. So for that, you go to the deny option. So we are going to deny all the principles of S3 for action of putting object. So we will select the put object action. Here it is. And then you need to give the ARN. So the ARN for this bucket is this one. And with the slash and star over here, so that each and every object you place inside this folder is evaluated through this policy. Now I will add a condition over here. And the condition is S3 server side encryption. And this value has to be true for any file that is being uploaded. And condition is null for this one. So what it says is that for any file that will be uploaded and that does not have this particular condition true, that will be denied and that won't be able to upload inside your bucket. So we will add this condition and I will add it to the statement as well. So over here you can see that we have defined that the server side encryption must be true. But the type of encryption is not defined as of now. So let's proceed and define that type as well. So we will again deny all the principles for the same action that is put object, the same ARN. So you can copy it from here. And this time the condition will be for a string not equals and the same server side encryption. And the server side encryption must be AES-256. So as we know that the AWS server side encryption uses the AES-256 encryption type in order to encrypt the files that are uploaded to S3. So now this condition says that if the server side encryption is not of the type AES-256, so that particular file would be denied and won't be able to upload in S3 bucket. And this is the S3 bucket that we have provided the ARN for. So we will add this condition and add this statement generate the policy and copy this policy we will go back over here and paste this policy over here now click on save changes now i will go back to the same bucket and try to upload a file so this is our bucket and this time i will go ahead and upload a file click on upload so you can see that the upload failed and this is because the access is denied it won't show you the exact reason, but we know that why this access is denied and it is because of the unencrypted file. So let's go ahead and upload the encrypted file. So I will go again to the upload option, add files, select a file over here and in the properties, you will find the option for specify an encryption key. So if you go with the default encryption bucket setting, it will automatically select the SSE S3, which is the S3 managed keys 
and we know that it uses the AES-256 encryption type. But let me go ahead and override the settings and use AWS KMS key and try to upload this file. So you see again it denied the access to upload the file. Now for the last time I will go and upload the file with the AWS managed encryption. So let's go ahead and upload this file with the properties to specify encryption key and I will select the AWS managed keys this time. So let's go ahead and upload it and here you go. So now you can see that the file has been uploaded successfully. So this is how you create a bucket with encryption enabled and create policies for your buckets in S3 so that you can enforce that each time you upload a file that is encrypted with the same type as required.